students of Toronto School of Management. We are going to have a virtual tour. Follow us! Welcome to Toronto School of Management. As we enter the building, we're going to see right over here. Come follow me. <laughs> so as you enter the building, the first thing that you're going to notice is a TV. This TV has the schedule of all the classes that you will be taking and where the classes are going to be at. So that meaning which number of classroom or which floor the classroom is going to be at. On your left, as you enter the building, the first thing that you're going to see too is the elevator. Right here you have a house directory where you can see where all the floors are at. As you enter the lounge room, the first thing that you're going to see too are this board right here. This board has usually all the events that are going to happen within the month. Here is where as a students come just to talk to friends, to do a little bit of homework, or just to study or stay after school. Some students do that a lot. So right here we have two computers that you may use. These are free to use. Um, you can just put the username and password and you can enter and use it for your purposes, that you whatever you need it for. So right over here we have our very own Tism Cafe run by our students here at the school from Hospitality and Tourism. Um, right here we also feature a lot of foods from all over the world such as patties from Jamaica. Now we're approaching our study area so come on and take a look at it. So as you can see it's a quite big area right here. Students can come and study either individually, they can connect their laptops. We have four different spaces in each area right here. Also, we have over here small tables where students can do their projects or either they can also use the lounge area where also bigger groups, this is just for four people, but they can use the lounge area if it's a little bit of a bigger project with some other people. We also have a little bit of whiteboards that students can use either to put something and study from them, right? Here we have our students' kitchen. As you can see, we have a variety of microwaves whenever we have breaks a lot of our students come here and warm up their food also if you have like cold foods you can always come and put it on the fridge and then once you are in lunch you can just take it out and warm it up hello everyone in here we have the reception area where the students and visitors can ask where the student services career services accommodations department and academic affairs are in here we have the bulletin board where we post job postings, schedules, discounts, and volunteer opportunities. On top of that, the career services and student services send individual emails to the students. In here we have the student services which attend to student-related concerns. A student can book an appointment through our online portal and someone from student services will assist them. In here we have the laboratory room where we hold our computer-based lectures. In here we have the Department of Academic Affairs which attends to academic-related concerns. Over here we have the career services for career-related concerns. In here we have the managing director's office. Beside me is the boardroom and across is the HR and operations. So hi guys, I'm here now at the fourth floor so I'll be showing you more of the classrooms here. And here in the entire building, each floor has their own washrooms. So behind me is the IT support system. If you have like any IT related concerns, this is the right place for you guys. So we have featured already the biggest classroom at the ground floor. Now I'm gonna feature you the medium and the small classrooms here at the fourth floor. In here we have a small classroom which accommodates from about 10 to 20 students. And then this is the medium sized classroom where it can hold about 20 to 40 students. Since we're an international school with different religions, of course, we do have our interfaith room. And on the other side of the building, same floor, on the fourth floor, we have the marketing office and of course, our finance office. Now we're here at a lower level where you can find our auditorium and our computer laboratory. I will show you around. This is the largest room that we have in school. So this one can accommodate for about 50 or more than 60 students. And typically, we use this room if we have like orientation, seminars, and workshops. Down the hallway, you will see our computer laboratory. So right over here, you will see a lot of different computers. If you have like computer-related modules, this is the place for you guys. So hello everyone, we're now here on the fifth floor. Um, this is our newly renovated classrooms. 
as you can see, everything is window, so no cheating here. If you come this way, this is seven rooms that we are using for classes. Um, this is one of our bigger rooms over here. If you follow me this way, um, you can take a look at the other classroom. Like I said, we also have a little bit of a lounge where you can relax, be with your friends, and if you come more to ours, this area, we have a smaller classroom for those um, classes that aren't required to have many students. And of course, our biggest classroom is right here. All of our classes have projectors. Um, you can see everything as, as I mentioned before. Thank you for touring with us today. We can wait to have you guys back soon. See y'all soon. Bye.